What did he say? And he wisely retired. And he wisely retired. You see, it's wise yeah. to get away from everybody yeah. and let it just be you and God. That's right. <laughs> All right, son. And he wisely retired from the sons of men. He wisely retired from the sons of men. And secreted himself. And secured himself. From them for many days. From them for many days. Now at verse 3. All right. And it was at the expiration of many years. It was after many years went by. Whilst he was serving the Lord. What? And praying before before him in his house. Uh -huh. That an angel of the Lord I called to, to him. I want to show you how much authority. Man. Now, power Enoch had. Amen. Before he was translated. That's this right. is long before his translation. That's right. While he was praying and talking to the Lord in his house. That an angel of the Lord called to him from heaven. Even heaven. Hallelujah. Heaven. Hallelujah. Recognized that this man Hallelujah. had a relationship with God Hallelujah. that they didn't have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Angels had Hallelujah. to recognize Enoch's position Hallelujah. that God gave him. Hallelujah. Angels spoke from heaven. And the, that an angel of the Lord called to him from he heaven. He called to Enoch from heaven. And he said, here am I. Here am I. And he said, rise. Get up. Go forth from thy house. Go forth from your house. And from the place where thou didst hide thyself. Yeah. And appear to the sons of men. Uh -huh. In order that thou mayest teach them the way in which they should go. Yeah. And the work which they must accomplish to enter in the ways of God. That's the job of the messenger. That's right. Is to teach men and women the work that they need to do. That's right. For the glory of God. Now down in verse 23. All right. And in sometimes after, uh -huh. when the kings and princes and the sons of men were speaking to Enoch. Yeah. And Enoch was teaching them the ways of God. Yeah. Behold, an angel of the Lord then called unto Enoch from heaven. Then what? And wished to bring him up to heaven. Mm. Hallelujah. <laughs> bring him up. Isn't that something? That's something. A mortal man. That's right. That walked with God. That's right. That was instructed of God. That's right. That had the knowledge of the Most High Hallelujah. until the angels had to give him recognition of his greatness. Behold, an angel of the an Lord. An angel of the Lord. Then called unto Enoch called from heaven. Called unto Enoch from heaven. And wished to bring him up to and heaven. And the angel wished. To bring him up to, to heaven. To bring Enoch up to heaven. To make him reign there. To make him reign there. Over the sons of God. Over the angels. As he had reigned. As he had reigned. Over the sons of men upon earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A man of God is not an ordinary man, he's an extraordinary man. His angels recognize the greatness that God put upon Enoch. Behold, an angel of the Lord. Until the angels wish, they knew they couldn't. That wish, wish to bring. They up. wished it. Wished. They knew they couldn't. Hallelujah. Because they don't have the power to cause others to ascend or descend. That's, That's right. the power of God Himself. When at that time. When at that time. Enoch heard this. When he heard it, he went and assembled all the inhabitants of the went earth. And caught all the inhabitants of the earth. And taught them wisdom and knowledge and gave them divine instructions. Hallelujah. Ain't it? taught them wisdom and knowledge, and gave them divine instructions. I mean, he gave you instructions from God. Let us understand something. In the days of Enoch, the book of scriptures were not written. That's right. Hallelujah. Well, Pastor Jennings, how could divine instructions be given if the book is not written? The word of the Lord will come to the prophets. That's right. That's why you hear the prophets saying, the word of the Lord came unto me saying. That's right. Hallelujah. Because even today, there are areas in the world that we travel. Hallelujah. And because of the religion of that country, you can't bring Bibles in. That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, how can you preach if you don't have nothing written? It is written yes, that the word hath I hear. That's right. 
in my heart. That's right. So once the word of God get in you, yeah. it prepares you for every good work. That's right. So many places I go in foreign countries, I may not can't take the letter, yeah. but I can have the spirit that opens up the letter. That's right. So before there was the letter, yes. there was the spirit of the living God. That's right. Are you getting this? And taught them wisdom. Taught them wisdom. And knowledge. Knowledge. And gave them divine instruction. Gave them divine instruction. And he said to them. He said to them. I have been required to ascend under heaven. <laughs> I want to say, well, wait, Pastor Jennings. Enoch was flesh and blood. That's right. And you said flesh and blood cannot enter. I didn't say it. The Bible said it. The Bible said it. So God had to make a change to Enoch's physical temple. That's right. That's what the book says. He was translated. 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 Changed. Changed. From mortal to immortality, from terrestrial to celestial. Because flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. That's right. Listen. I have been required to ascend into heaven. Then what? I therefore do not know the day of my going. I don't know and I'm going to get away from here. And now therefore I will teach you wisdom. I'm going to give you wisdom. And knowledge. Before I leave, I got to give you some wisdom and knowledge. And will give you instruction before Church. I leave you. How to act. Amen. Wait a minute. Amen. I'm going to do what? I, I, and will give you instruction before I leave you how to act upon earth. That's Hallelujah. why God sent men. That's right. To Hallelujah. give the world instructions how, how to, act. to act. How to act upon earth. Before God take that man. Hallelujah. 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 And this is why the world rebels so great. That's right. Against God because God wants you to act a certain way and the world is determined to act the way you want. That's right. And when God sends someone that stand up for him and not afraid to stand up for him and who's determined to tell the world how God wants you to be, right. the world desire his death. It isn't a man of God in the Bible that the people did not want to kill because of what he stood for. Amen. And they wanted to kill them then, and they want to kill them now. That's right. That's right. Because the devil kingdom is being rocked by the word. Oh, yeah. And the devil don't want his kingdom tampered with. Yeah. This man to rearrange. Yeah. So the devil will move on men, women, and many of them will profess to be Christians. Amen. Amen. To murder anyone that the Lord send to the public. The Lord. Listen. And now, therefore, I will teach you wisdom and knowledge. I will teach knowledge. you wisdom and knowledge. And will give you instructions and before I leave you. And will give you instructions you. before I leave you. How to act upon earth. And what? Whereby you may live, and he did so. And he taught them wisdom and knowledge and gave them instruction. Yes. And he reproved them. He rebuked them. And he placed before them statutes and judgments. And? To do upon earth. And? And he made peace amongst them. Yes. And he taught them everlasting life. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Enoch taught them what? And he taught them everlasting life. Enoch back in his time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Before there was anything written. My Lord, my Lord. He taught them everlasting life because his lessons came from the everlasting father. That's right. Hallelujah. What we learn from holiness in this life. Yeah teaches us about the life to come. That's right. And the life that we prepare for is everlasting life. Mm. So we have to take the instructions in this life. That's right. They may be hard. Yeah. They may be rough. Yeah. They're going to go against the grain. Oh, yeah. 
They're going to be opposite from what you think or maybe what you've been taught. Amen. But if it comes from God, take it. That's right. Well, I don't like it. You ain't supposed to like it. You're supposed to love it. That's right. Are you listening? And he made peace amongst them. He made them. peace among them. And he taught them everlasting life. All right, let's go back to Nimrod. Back in Genesis let's get chapter Genesis, 10. Genesis, and then we we'll go to the book of Joshua. Everybody all right? Amen. Listen. First in Genesis chapter 10, we'll start at verse 8. All right. And Cush begat Nimrod. Cush begat Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one in the earth. Nimrod was a mighty one in the earth. He was a mighty hunter before mighty the Lord. Hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. Yes. Now in Genesis chapter 11, we'll start at verse 1. All right. And the whole earth was of one language and the of one speech. The whole earth. Imagine everybody having the same language. Mm -hmm. God certainly know how to dismantle things, don't he? That's right. Having one language also represents having one mind. Amen. America and the rest of the world have one language. Yeah. That language is sin. That's right. One mind, one idea, one theology, one philosophy. Yeah. And that theology is God don't matter. That's right. God is not important. God is no longer significant. Yeah. The language of the world is money. That's the language of the world, money. Right. It's in the apostolics, it's in the Pentecostals, it's in the non-denominational, it's in these TV evangelists, these TV televised pimps. Amen. The language of religion, money. That's right. God is no longer important in church. Amen. That's why 99.9 .9 of every church, your message is prosperity. And I've been telling the world for years, true prosperity is not what you own. True prosperity is wisdom, knowledge, and understanding who God is. Right. When you learn who God is, God will bring you to the knowledge of who you are and who you should be. That's right. Listen. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And, and it came to pass as they journeyed from the east what that they found a plain in the land of Shinar and they dwelt there. Yes. And they said one to another, go to. Let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. Let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone. Listen. And slime had they for mortar. And? And they say, go to, let us build us a city and a tower. Let's build a city and a tower. Whose top may reach under heaven. How far we want to take this building? May reach under heaven. Hmm. That's the arrogance of man. That's right. The arrogance of man. Man is very arrogant, very self-righteous. Oh, yeah. He owns a little bit property and think he got something. That's right. Sometimes families have peace until mother, or father, or grandparents die. Yeah. Moment they die, families are at odds at one another who never was at odds. Mm -hmm. They fight each other over land. They fight each other over a horse. They fight each mm -hmm. other over a tractor, over a car, or granddaddy's bank account. That's right. Sisters won't speak to each other. Brothers will try to kill each other. Family members now post threats on each other and try to degrade each other on social media because of their love for materialism. That's right. But yet you won't stand up and fight sinners and love God and fight for God. Amen. You will fight for money. You will fight for things that you can't take with you. Yeah. But you won't fight for God that promised you eternal life with him. That's right. What did he say, son? Go to, let us build us a city and Go a tower. Go to, let us build a city and a tower. Whose top may reach under heaven. Whose top may reach heaven. And let us make us a name. Ha. Mm -hmm. That's the mentality of preachers. That's right. And wealthy folk. Let us do what? Let us make us a name. You know, people want to make a name for themselves. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we're not in this to make a name for ourselves. No. We promote the name that is superior to all other names. That's right. Which is the name of the Lord Jesus. That's right. That's the only name to have power and authority. So never be the type of brother and sister or human being mm -hmm. 
who want to leave a legacy. Legacy is vanity. That's right. Who want to leave a name. Names come, names go. Listen. And let us make us a name. Lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. All right. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower. The Lord came down to see the city and the tower. Which the children of men built. Yes. And the Lord said. What? Behold, the, the people is one. And they have all one language. You know, they call the place Baal. Baal. Let's read that. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one. Yes. They have all one language, and this they begin to do. Mm -hmm. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Wait a minute. Nothing will be restrained from them. Nothing will be from restrained them. from them. Which they have imagined. They have what? They have imagined to do. That's the problem with the whole world. <laughs> That's it. Amen. The imaginations of the heart of men and women yeah. are against God. That's right. They are vain in their imagination. Mm -hmm. So therefore, they are vain in their approach towards God. That's right. So when you have vain imagination, you're caught up in vanity. Yeah. That's why if you look at the human family, the most thing they focus on is how much money they can make. And hey man, never mind God. It's all about getting the dollar, getting the dollar, getting the Benjamins. That's right. They want to make that money, make that money. They, if God is on the back burner, they ain't thinking about repenting. No. They ain't thinking about being baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. No. They ain't thinking about receiving the Holy Ghost. No. And they just want to make that deal so that money can fall through. That's right. I want everybody under the sun to realize, as I tell you moreover, nigga, you came in the world. Negate your shell of return. That's right. Brother and sister, man and woman, you don't own nothing. That's right. Oh, Pastor Jen, my house is paid off. That ain't your house. When you die, God proved to you. You can't take it. Mm -hmm. God keep proving to men and women that the earth is his. Yes. You come along and work all your life and build a house from the ground. God bring a strong wind and knock it down in five minutes That's after right. 30 years of laying brick. That's right. Out of all the churches God bless us to build around the world and buy, we don't glory in not one property Amen. because the earth is the Lord's. And the fullness thereof. That's right. You that got your little house, I don't care if you got twin, listen, 20 bathrooms, 50 bedrooms. If the master bedroom is as large as this auditorium and your bed is in the center of it and you got a dome where you look up when you lay down and see the stars, in most cases that will be as close to heaven as you get. That's right. Because the hell is the world going. That's right. You say you going to heaven, but you live like dogs, live like animals, and live like demons in the earth. Amen. Hallelujah. And this is why your hatred in America is built up so much about the truth of God. Because we call you for what you are, American devils. That's right. You go to church. That's right. But you hate God. hate God. You are deacon, but you hate So I said, Pastor, I don't hate God. Let's see. God says, obey him. You say, no, I'm not. Yeah. God say, give up your second wife and your second husband. You say, I die before I give her up. That's right. That's right. God said he made the woman for the man. You said, no, he didn't. <laughs> That's right. Am I right, I said? That's right. Hatred yeah. starts with rebellion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hatred starts with rebellion. That's right. And you look at the White House, mm. the Parliament of Europe, the governments of the world, an ambassador of a country represents that country. The ambassador of America, wherever he or she goes, supposed to go to that foreign land, bring the policies and the agenda of America. That's right. Paul said, I'm an ambassador for Christ. Amen. Paul 
brought the policies not of Jerusalem, yeah. no. not of Israel, yeah. not of the Middle East. Mm -hmm. Paul brings the policies of heaven. Yeah. My job as an ambassador of the Lord Jesus Christ, yeah. not to bring the policies of America. That's right. Well, you black, I don't bring the policies of Africa. That's right. We don't bring the policies of Europe. Amen. We bring the policies and the complete agenda of heaven. That's right. Now, for me to be an effective, righteous ambassador, Go ahead, brother. I cannot be tied to the policies of America that contradict the policies of God. That's right. And this is where preachers have failed as representing representatives of God. That's right. Because many churches, there's nothing wrong with having government programs. Mm -hmm. If you got a government program, senior citizens home and feeding the poor, that's all good. But if you got to break scripture, yeah. to keep the cash flow from the government. That's right then you represent the government policies mm -hmm. and not the policies of God. Yeah. You see, we have an uh, organization separate from the church called the EAC, the Emmanuel Advancement Center. Mm -hmm. In order, and we want to get funding from the government right. to do projects, but the EAC know Pastor Jennings. We will not Violate or cross the Lord. That's right. We ain't gonna cross them. That's right. To get a dime from the government. If we have a senior citizen's home and we're looking to, mm -hmm. our stand still hold. You can't live there and have Christmas trees. That's right. Because the book don't say he was born then. That's right. You can't live there. And you single and your girlfriend stay there. That's right. You can't, you can't do that. No, no. Because we can't justify shacking up and then give you provisions to shack up. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. In other words, any program that the church run, not a drop of that program can contradict the agenda of God. So as an ambassador of the truth of God, I must bring the world, the world, That's right. the world, the policies of God and the agenda of the curator of humanity. Amen. Not the policies of Pastor Jennings. No. And I'm willing to suffer any consequences on behalf of it. Huh. Did you hear what I said? That's right. I said, on behalf of bringing the agenda of God as an ambassador of him, I am willing to suffer any consequences as an ambassador of God. Amen. If the government would throw me in jail for representing God, then I would go to jail gladly. Amen. And then let God come and shake the cell like he did in the days of the apostles. That's right. This is where religion has failed. That's right. God, men are scared to really represent God. Yeah. They're scared. They're scared of threats. They're scared of getting murdered. They're scared of going to jail. But if you fear God, you don't care about threats. I got threats on me now. Yeah. Right. I don't care. That's right. That's right. I have never That's right. backed down from a threat. Amen. Because the book says there is no weapon for. Yeah. You men that send the truth of God, yeah. you can work along with me being a scared man. Hallelujah. Go ahead. God said, let us make man. That's right. Let us make man. That's right. Not let us make cowards. Go ahead, man. God made me a man. That's right. In the image of God. That's right. And when you stand for God, you got to stand with no fear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No fear.
We ain't scared here. Hallelujah. 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 Are you listening? That's right. That's As right. an ambassador, go ahead. Man. I am obligated to bring to every country Amen. the policies of God. That's right. Not the policies of America. No. We don't have no American flag in none of our temples. No. We don't pledge our allegiance to this whoremonging country. No, no. We pledge our allegiance to God. That's right. All of you that are watching and you that are here, don't you allow your children to pledge no allegiance to no flag. That's right. You want to put your hand over your heart? Pledge your allegiance unto God. That's right. To do what? Repent. Yeah. Be baptized. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pledge the tarry for the Holy Ghost. Go ahead. I pledge to strive to live holy. I pledge to walk with Jesus. Go ahead. Talk with Jesus. Ahead, Die for him. Go ahead. Go ahead. God. Hallelujah. That's where your pledge should be. That's right. Go ahead. These are scared so-called Christians. Yeah. What kind of God you serve? Go ahead, man. He opened up the Red Sea for Israel. He turned Moses' rod to a serpent and ate up all other rods. That's right. He restored meal in the barrel of the woman. Go ahead. Where she made the prophet a last cake. Go ahead. And you think at this late date, Amen. some little cheap, frivolous yes. internet threats. Go ahead. You got to stand in line with the threats on the truth of God. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. God made man. Yes. God's first creation of humanity mm -hmm. did not start off as a boy. No. Why not? <laughs> a man got to have leadership skills. That's right. And be able to bring others to the God of heaven. That's right. In the days of Nimrod, they all had one language, one language, but they got beside themselves in their imagination. That's right. And this is what happened to men around the world. They think they're something and they're not. Mm -hmm. And people who are ignorant of the word of God is quick to run to someone because someone said, he's a man of God. That's right. What is your measuring stick of a man of God? A man of God is one whom the Lord made not only in his image. You see, when God made Adam in his image, and some religion says Adam was the first white man, you fool. He's a fool. There ain't no Bible ever taught that garbage. No. I remember Muslims from the Nation of Islam told me, you can't trace the origin of the black man. There is no date where we begin. It may not be no date, but you wasn't always here, fool. <laughs> That's right. The only one that always was is the creator, God himself. That's right. All men have a beginning. Oh, That's right. The only one that has no beginning is your Lord. Amen. That made heaven and earth. That's right. Come on, read quick, Williams. Everybody all right? Genesis 11 and out of verse 6. Listen. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one. The people are one. And they have all one language, and this they begin to do. Then what? And now nothing will be restrained from them. Yes. Which they have imagined to do. Uh -huh. Go to. Go to. Let us go down. Ha. Amen. God talking. God talking. Let us go down. And there confound their language. This is where the Bible scholar, and I'm pretty sure he's watching, and pretty sure the other Trinitarian believers are watching. This is where they believe that there's somebody else up there with God. That's right. Because the Lord says, go to, go to, let us go down. Let us, 
go down. And there confound their language. And right, and I'm pretty sure there's someone watching there yelling. You see there, Pastor Jennings? That's Elohim. <laughs> Elohim. Plural. More than one. More than you one. fool. Fool. And slow of heart. That's right. Give me the book of Jasher. Now in the book of Jasher. Let's find out who is the us mm -hmm. that the Lord was talking to. In the book of Jasher, chapter 9. And we'll start at verse 31. Follow me. And they built the tower and the city. They built the tower and the city. And, this, and did this thing daily until many days and years were, just, were elapsed. Yes. And God said. And God said. To the 70 angels who stood most before him. God said to the 70 angels. Who stood that foremost. That stood before him. Before him. What? To those who were near to him. To those that was near to him. Saying come. Come. Let us. Be sin. <laughs> Amen. That's who he's talking to. To the 70 angels. Who stood he ain't for talking to a him. son. No. Angels. He ain't talking to a trinity. 70 angels. He's Hallelujah. talking to his angels. And God said to the 70 God. angels. Hallelujah. That's what the Bible says. All scriptures are given Hallelujah. by the inspiration of God. That's right. And it's profitable for doctrine. For doctrine. He Hallelujah. Ain't talking to a son, a little son, and a big father. No, no. A and little baby with pudgy knees, and the father got a long gray beard. That's right. Talking with the sound of thunder. You fool. That's a fool. Did and, you hear the Bible talking? And God said to the 70 angels. That's the us. That's the us. God said to the 70 angels. Who stood foremost before him. Who stood before him. To those Wait a minute. Were, the angels are standing before one. That's right. Before him. Before them. Him. Them. Him. The angels are standing before one. Him. Not them. Him. Him. I want you Trinitarian, blind, triple darkness fools to get this. And God said to the 70 God angels. God said to the 70 angels. Who stood foremost before him. I want all of my viewers and you that are here. When you ride by a church and you see Trinity. Don't get out your car. Keep driving. That's right. Keep driving. That's right. When you're in the church and they tell you that there's Trinity, then keep driving. Well, get right up. Get right. Just be as disruptive, disruptive. as you can. That's right. When the preacher goes to tell you there's more than one, get right up. Get right I don't, up. Listen, I don't care if you call ruckus and the usher say, calm down. Get off me. That's right. Where you going? I'm going to talk to my one God. Amen. Y'all got too many in here. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Get this. And God said to the 70 angels. God said to the 70 angels. Who stood foremost before him. What? To, to, to those who were near to him. To those that were near to him. Saying, come let us. Come let us. Let us descend and confuse their tongues. Uh -huh. That one man shall not understand the language of his neighbor. Then what? And they did so unto them. Now, that confused tongue is still in people now. That's right. And this is why people, as we were saying last night, is so confused touching scripture. That's right. So men have invented mm -hmm. numerous of religions by the permission of Satan yeah. to keep the people ignorant, deaf, dumb, blind. That's right. To make men rebellious. And look at the power of Satan in the earth. Yes. That's right. That's right. Look how Satan have our young people. Yes. Young men, young girls. Yeah. It's a hate that have evolved towards church. That's right. I want my young viewers to listen at this and you that are here. You cannot love God and hate your mother. No. You cannot Obey God no, no. and disobey your mother. That's right. Are you listening? In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Follow me quickly. And we'll start at verse 1. All right. Hear me, your father, O children. Hear me, your father, O children. children. And do thereafter. Do what we tell you. That ye may be safe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Children. The streets is pulling on you right. for one reason, mm -hmm. to send you to hell. That's right. That's right. Young men, you want to be in and out of jail, and yet you want your parents to keep bailing you out. Yeah. Let's talk about that briefly. 
When I came up, I come from a family of eight. And my father worked three jobs. Five of boys and three girls. Now, my father told us straight up. He said, I worked three jobs. I served God. I ain't got to tolerate foolishness from none of y'all. He said, if any of you go to jail, don't call me. And my father wasn't bluffing. That's right. So, one of my brothers got locked up, and he called. <laughs> my father answered the phone. Well, where you at? Mm. I'm in jail. He gave the phone to my mother. Here. <laughs> Bailing your children out of jail once? All right. Twice? All right. But will you keep doing it? Well, Pastor Jennings, wait a minute. If you're going to always bail them out all the time, do you not realize you're being taken advantage of and being used? That's right. Because then that forms in the child mind, I can do whatever I want. Mommy going to get me out. Daddy going to get me out. Well, now you got to learn tough love. Yeah. You parents that's providing the roof, the food, the bed, the clothes, the electricity, Amen. the water yeah. under your roof so your children can survive, Amen. you got the right to demand respect or get out. Yeah. Children, you ain't under your parents' roof for them to bargain with you. No. I mean, we ain't gonna sit and have a negotiation. That's right. Bargain. That's right. Well, what do you want? What do you want from me? Your way? Your way? Or, or the door? That's it. That's it. Well, that ain't love. Well, that's the case. God must not have love. That's right. Because for us to be on God's side is his way or nobody way. Amen. If I'm under my roof and I'm the father and I am. Mm -hmm. No smoking. That's right. That's right. No drinking. No gambling. Yeah. No partying. No girlfriend in and out of my house. That's right. No boyfriend in and out of my house. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? That's right. So when the son and daughter mm -hmm. start staying out all night, mm -hmm. after they have knowledge of the law of the home, yeah. they are telling you, I don't regard what you say. Let me say to my young men that watches me all around the world, because a lot of you say, Pastor Jennings, you know, I never had no father. I look at you as my spiritual father, and there's thousands of them, and I haven't even met an eighth of them. Yeah. But let me say this to my young men and women. When you get to the point, you don't want to do what your parents say do. I mean, how uh, humble can I say this? <laughs> when you get to the point, your mind is made up. Yeah. You're going to come in when you want. Yeah. You're going out when you please. You're going to hang out wherever you want. Yeah. It's time to get your own, in good hood language, get your own crib. That's right. That's right. Well, I'm a man. Let's talk about that. What defines you a man? Because you knock up girls? Roaches knock up. That's why it's hard to get rid of them characters. You a man because you got facial hairs? Peaches got fuzz. That's right. Am I right? That's right. If you are a man, then you should be responsible. Yeah. 
mature enough to be responsible, absence from laziness, work and contribute to your home. That's right. I was raised that way. We worked at home. We had to contribute. Yeah. It's no more than the right thing to do. My father got three jobs and all eight of us is working. You mean to tell me we can't contribute to a bill? Yeah. We sitting there eating, but yet we don't want to help buy groceries. Amen. Mama come with shopping bags. I don't want to help my mother bring a bag. You can't help mama and father bring bags. My Lord. This lazy, trifling, worthless demon that's in men and women today, not all of them, but many of them. Many, many. Young people, you don't want to have the frame of mind that you always need someone to push you. Expose that push you so used to is dead. Father may die. Mother may die. You have to want something for yourself. You can't sit around with the internet intellect. When the computer go off, you're dumb. That's right. That's right. The book says, for, for the Lord has given the father honor over the children. Now hold it right there. Hold it right there. Amen. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. Amen. Balance that out with the book of Timothy. Mm -hmm. The law of provisions. Amen. See how quiet it is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> First Timothy chapter Remember five. he read that the Lord. For the Lord has given the father. Have given the father. Honor. Honor. Over the children. So I'm asked this by many young people. Pastor Jennings, how in the world can I respect my father when he have no regard for me? Right. Let's balance this out. For the, the book Lord, of Timothy. Now in 1 Timothy chapter 5 and at verse 8. I preached this all over the world. I remember I preached this in Germany. I was in Frankfurt, Germany. And a young man came to me and shook my hand. He said, you helped me. German brother. Baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Go to the first church of our Lord Jesus Christ in Germany. He said, I never had a father to teach me how to take care of my own. Amen. He said, I thought, you know, I get baptized, I have the Holy Ghost. I'm not living that sinful life no more. So me and the girl are not together, so I shouldn't have to take care of my past sins. Amen. That's the way he put it. He put his children as labeled as his past sins. Past sins. <laughs> I said, well, consider this. Do not God take care of the sinner? Amen. A sinner can't eat unless God provides for him. That's right. He said, I never thought of that, Pastor Janice. I said, listen, brother, your children, and I want every man and woman on the planet to hear this. Your children are innocent victims because you dropped your drawers. That's right. That's right. Let me repeat myself in case my vocabulary wasn't clear. Amen. Your children are innocent victims because you couldn't keep your drawers on. In the book of Timothy. First Timothy chapter 5 and at verse 8. First Timothy 5 and 8 says. But if any. If any. Provide That goes for sinner or not. That's right. Any. If any, but if any provide not for his I own. I have people tell me, I'm tired of that man preaching this. Only ones that's tired of this is the guilty. That's right.
mean to tell me all these thousands of men follow me around the world and I'm going to avoid a subject like this? Like this. Yes. Amen. I don't care nothing about your shower and huck a bucket. <laughs> these children got to eat. That's right. While you bending over, take your hand. Am I right, I said? That's right. All men That's right. that refuse to take care of your children, you're lost. 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 All men Amen. that refuse, I didn't say that can't, no. but that refuse to take care of your children, Amen. you are lost. That's right. That's right. That's plain. That's plain. You're not saved. No. Or and say, you can't tell me I'm not saved. Let's get the Bible for it. First Timothy 5 and verse 8. And listen at the language of the book. But and if, then tell me whether you save or not. Amen. Listen. But if any provide not for if his own. If any provide not for his own. And especially for those of what his own What did the language have, ask? What did it say? But if any. If any provide not for his own. And especially, especially for those. Especially. Especially, especially, for, especially for, the, for those of his own house, of his own house. He hath denied the faith. He denied the belief of God. And when you deny the faith, you are not saved. That's right. Denied it. You ain't speaking in tongue. That's right. There ain't the Lord shaking you. No, no. You's a sinner. That's right. He had denied the faith. Now you can join any church you want. You <laughs> men out here, black, white, brown, and red bums. Bums. But if any provide not. Preachers are ordaining own. you deacons and elders and ministers and ushers. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. And some of you sick leaders condone this stuff because you won't take care of your own babies. That's right. That's right. Do you hear what it said? But if any provide not for his own. That goes for if I got any brothers in first church. I don't care who you are. If any, any, any. Even if you're not married to the woman, if you get behind in some payments, that's understanding if you work and trying to manage it, but do something. Do something. Am I right, I said? That's right. A man that loves his kids before he sees his kids go without the necessity things of life, that man will sleep in a car first. He going to take care of his kids before he do for himself. That's right. That's right. Any man don't want to take care of his children, you ain't got no business being in the pulpit. No. You ain't got no business open up praise service. That's right. You ain't got no business shouting. That's right. You ain't fit to even read the Bible. That's right. Because you denied the faith. The faith. The faith. God's belief. That's right. Denied it. Thank you, Lord. And because of this stand, some call me a false prophet. That's right. Can you imagine that? They call me a false prophet because I'm telling men, take care of your kids. My Lord, my you don't want to take care of your kids. Stop shooting blanks. Go ahead. Amen. Why do I hammer on this so hard? Mm -hmm. If young men got fathers like this, and then the young men see what the father won't do, he may become a product of that environment. Knock some girl up and do the same thing, and then that keep happening over and over and over and over, and you wonder why young women don't want to get married. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is recycling. We want to stop the cycle. If a man loves God, you will love your children. Yes, he will. That's right. Hallelujah. You young men out in the hood knock up all these girls and make ten babies 
and then brag. That's right. Uh, the, some of them get their character. Oh, man, this girl just want my money. She want me to give the baby some pampers. My Lord. That, that, that bee must be crazy. Yeah. Well, why you ain't look at her as a bee when you was rolling around on her bed? Go ahead. Go ahead. Man. You sisters Go ahead. better be wise in your selection. Yes. There was a time where men didn't mind working, taking care of the wife. But I don't advise no woman to lay around waiting for a knight in shiny armor. Today, armor is too expensive. They're wearing plastic. Amen. Am I right, I said? Armor is just too expensive today. Don't be smiling and gilly, gilly, uh, giggling over promises. Right. Have a foundation in a job yourself. That's right. Don't wait for a man to do for you what you can already do for yourself. Go ahead, brother. Oh, Pastor Jennings, I just want to be loved. Love yourself. That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, why he don't love me? How do you know he understand what love is? That's right. One can't produce what they can't comprehend. Amen. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Are you listening? But if any provide not for his own. Let me say this to the world and you that are here. Love is not... <laughs> Sex. That's right. That's right. Notice I left space before I make you statement. Amen. Love, I say, I say, I say, love yeah. is not yeah. sex. That's right. How can you say that, Pastor Jennings? Not even your creator Amen. classified love as sex. No. Your creator says he is love. God is love. Sex is called in the Bible, will you not marry, fornication. That's right. That's right. Sex is not love. No. Well, Pastor Jennings is an expression of love. It's an expression of lust. That's right. That's, right. That's why you can buy it on the internet. Yeah. You ain't swiping your card to order a package of love. No. Some man come knocking at your house who you think is a woman? Am I right, I said? Yeah. You think as a woman, he got all the hormone sh shots and all puffed out here and hips out here and backside out there and yeah. got fake hair on and come knocking at your house? Yeah. And you think, that's it. That's it. And you just all happy? Washed in areas you never washed. Because you're too trifling to stay clean. That's right. So here he come, mistaken for she. Amen. And he come in. And you sitting there, oh, man, man, you banging, you banging. Your pictures on Facebook, it's the real deal. And here you sitting on the couch trying to put your hand up all up under his skirt. His skirt. And he ain't fighting. He ain't resisting. So you round there fumbling on the combination until something ain't right. Huh? Even the Bible says, seek and you shall find. And here he's all under there getting all hot. Oh. Hard. <laughs> and he's looking. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Go ahead. Internet Go ahead. has broken marriages. 
have broken relationships, have destroyed churches. Oh, yeah. Why would a grown man want to see little boys lay with little five-year-old girls? That's right. That's Why would a grown man sit in his car at a school playground and look at the backside of little girls? That's right. You old pervert. That's a pervert. That's why people say, you know, I can't enjoy that man. He, <laughs> he's too vulgar. So vulgar. He, he just say things that should not be said. Right. I'm a journalist. Yeah. What did I say today that's not coming on the news? Yeah. You can take it from the news, but you can't take it from the reporter. That's right. The Bible says, by faith, the elders obtained a good, good report. report. I'm a reporter. Amen. When our young girls don't have no decent father, sometimes it causes some young girls make bad choices among men. Yes. Because within that man, they're looking for that man to fill a void. Right. They're looking for him to be father when he's too incompetent and too naive to even be a man. That's right. So you make the mistake as a young girl saying, I need an older man. How do you define older man? An older man is not someone that's necessarily older in age because a person can be 20 years older than you and mentally and emotionally younger than you. That's right. Amen. And this is why men need this teaching. Yeah. A lot of these men don't even know what they're doing to their children. And some do know and don't care. That's right. So some girls have a void. And that void send them out looking. And because they don't have experience, they don't know where to look. And they don't know what to look for. That's right. That's right. And as a result of such, she become pregnant at 15. Then when that baby come, she become pregnant again at 16, different father. Then when that baby come, she become pregnant at 17, different father. You know I'm telling the truth. That's right. I remember I preached this, and then these weak men got over the internet. Why are you always talking about us, Pastor Jenny? <laughs> what about the women that lure us? Shut up! That's right. A woman can't make you lay down with her. That's right. You lay down because you want to lay down. Amen. You can do like Joseph. That's right. You can run. run. It ain't no shame in running. Right. Run! Yeah. Run! Yeah. Well, well, Pastor Jenny, you know, I'm a man. A man. I'm like, yeah, you're a man. Mm -hmm. But see, sometimes if you don't run, you're going to be a man with herbies. Yeah. You're going to be a man with syphilis. You're going to be a man with gonorrhea. Yeah. You're going to be a man with AIDS. You're going to be a man with HIV positive. That's right. You sang that song. You better run. Don't look back. You better run. Don't look back. You better run. You can see the brothers all in the house. Then live up to your song. Go ahead, live up to it. Stop dropping your drawers to everything that got legs. Go ahead. Then you get back and want prayer. That's right. That's right. And you men over the internet that's upset is because you're weak and you're cowards. Yeah. A real man will take this. That's right. That's right. Well, Pastor Dennis, I tried running, but I got too weak. It happens. Yeah. Solomon, oh, he ain't run. <laughs> we didn't. But he paid the price for not running. Yeah. It is written that Solomon loved outlandish women. And by the time Solomon died, the women took his heart. His heart. This is a man whom the Lord appeared to. 
That's right. And the Bible says Solomon's heart was not with the Lord. He loved outlandish women until the women took his heart. When you take a man's heart, you take his mind. his mind. When you take his mind, you can dictate his body. When you take his body, you can govern his spirit. Go ahead. Mm. Wonderful. Mm. Sister, sometimes you got to run. Sometimes men prey upon the weak and the needy. Some of you are naive and you go confine in some brother because he's in the church and got the Holy Ghost. <laughs> and I didn't think I could talk to anybody, but I'm really going through and oh, I'm in a financial crisis. <laughs> and he's like, well, look, sister, sister, look, you, you ain't got to pay it back. <laughs> you ain't, ain't got to pay it back. Me and you roll like that. <laughs> Perhaps with some. But if you're going to aid a sister, why you keep throwing it up in her face what you've done for her? That's if you right. don't want nothing in return. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Know how to turn down greenbacks, woman. 